Hi guys, Stuart Nallan here for Outdoor Basics and we're out on a lovely Scottish day um, so yeah, we've got a bivvy up it's all good poor Al's out there in the rain and that but he's got his Gucci Ridgeline on so not a care in the world so we best get cracking on then so today I'm going to do a bit of a knife review it's an initial thoughts review um, it's a knife I've wanted for a long time with these specifications and done in this way and I waited to get it and so yeah let's crack on so it is a British Army uh, J Adams MOD survival knife this one has been heavily modified by a guy called Andy who runs a MOD kit He's, he's got an Etsy store and he, what a job he's done. What an absolutely stormy a job he's done here. Um, unbelievable, really. Any of that have looked at an MOD survival knife before knows that it does not come like this. Um, so a brief, it's made out of Sheffield steel, so it's made out of high carbon Sheffield steel. And Sheffield steel is kind of renowned the world over as being an outstanding steel um, and these MOD survival knives I think they're actually called knife tool utility because they were kept in like toolboxes or Land Rovers, four tunnels, stuff like that but lads started kind of getting them and putting an edge on them and looking after them themselves um, if you've seen them before they're kind of jack of all trades, master of none they're just an absolutely solid bit of kit um, they're, they're not brilliant at anything but they're good at everything, if that makes any sense. So I suppose if you want to call it a one-tool option, shelter building, fire making, knife, a bit of a tank, these are hit. Um, Andy also gets these MOD kit knife sheaths made up. And the amount of thought and care and kind of consideration that's went into this sheath, I'm going to make that a separate video. Um, because it's an outstanding sheath. Um, and it deserves to kind of be spoke about separately. I don't want to heap it all together and not do anything justice. So, outstanding sheath. Really, really impressed by that. Um, and I'll, I'll do a review on that as well. We'll probably do that today. So, the knife itself. For any of you that have looked at them, you know they don't come like this. So, what has Andy done? The most glaring thing, um, although I'm getting it all smudgy, which I'm regretting, um, is he's took the kind of black galvanised coating off and he's gave it this, although I'm smudging it up, it's doing my nothing, um, high polish finish and it just looks outstanding. I used this, I've had this out, I've used it once or twice now. Um, outstanding, absolutely outstanding. It just looks so cool with that mirror finish. Absolutely loves it. It puts an, a, a really nice edge on it, sorts the edge out, the edge geometry out, because sometimes they come a wee bit hear them, scare them out of the factory um, and it, it sorts your edge geometry out for you he then puts this this uh, fire steel scraper you could kind of it, 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 it's mad just wait till I show you th this thing throwing sparks it's bloody madness um, this this uh, scraper and why he does that next you'll notice that he rounds the handle off yeah because the handle for anybody that's looked at them the kind of these uh, plastic handles or polymer handles whatever they are are raised above the metal so when you're holding on to it it's meant to be if you don't have gloves on um, because anybody that knows anything about British military contact gloves that are meant to stop your hands getting cold they're the only gloves gloves in the universe scientifically proven to make your hands cold so yeah the, the scales are raised up so your hands don't touch the metal I don't know why you'd be touching metal in conditions where your hands might stick to it but anyway he then takes that down what he does do though is he kind of leaves it kind of blocky when he takes it down not mega but he leaves it kind of blocky so that once you get it you can finalise it yourself which is what I have done um, and I spoke to Andy on the phone and he kind of explained that Next, it's kind of this kind of sword guard usually pokes up on both sides. The way it is here on that side, that's tamed down. That's tamed down. And I thought it was just a good touch that Andy said on the scales. He leaves a wee bit more on it 
so that you've got the opportunity to personalise it for yourself. And it still felt great in the hand, but I did decide to kind of round it off and just personalise it and play with it a wee bit and, and see where I, where, I, where I want to take it. And having a wee bit of extra on it, um, definitely, definitely kind of makes all the difference in the world. Um, so, for the price point for this, if you want, like, Andy's nothing, like, done nothing for me and I'm not doing anything for Andy other than he's made a fantastic product and I, I really rate it, so I'm going to do a fair review. Um, he, I think he knocks, I think this one comes in at, like, 85 quid there. I'm not sure. It's run about there. But when you look at the amount of work that he's put into it compared to what you can buy one off Heaney Haynes, it's madness. Madness. Um, he's knocking out an amazing product at an amazing price. Um, he's taking something that's already a solid, usable bit of kit and just taking it to the next level. So, yeah, um, I'm not going like, to overdo it and bore you to tears by like, smashing everything up and all that sort of stuff, but I am going to show you what this knife can do. Um, with a few kind of simple tests, some batting and chopping, fair sticking, all the sort of things that people want to see in these videos. If you want to look up the the stats here, I'm not going to get into all that. There's a million and one videos on the internet that talk about length, the mill, all that sort of stuff. Look that up. Um, I'll maybe bang it in the well, I will, I'll well, bang it in the description box. These have been done to death on that. I just wanted to highlight the outstanding job that Andy does on these taking them from a reasonable bit of kit into an outstanding bit of kit in my opinion. So yeah, here we go. So we've got some pine, some fair knots and stuff like that in this pine. This is a bit of a battening test really. It's verging on the old abuse, um, but we're going to go for it anyway. And the ground's a bit sodden so it doesn't exactly have the, the best start. However, clear that I'll come out into the open with that so I don't bash off that tarp. So yeah, I'll just make sure that I've got my, my head clearance and stuff like that there, get that sorted. And again, this is pine. Heavy pine and it's been kind of cold and wet and horrible up here. So here we go. You can see it's knocking it into the ground, it's that sodden here. Solid bit of pine, a solid bit of pine. Moving on the ground, I'll put this wee base under it. See if I can. I just want to make sure it's solid first before I belt it. There we go. Slip off that. If it comes through this, it's not even talking or anything, look. If it comes through this, alright. It's done well, eh? Let me get it on something. A wee bit more solid, get a bit of decent swing at it. There's no, I'm not feeling it vibrating back through my hand, and you can see, I mean, this is, I smell the resin, it smells lovely, and you can, sm you, you, you can see that I'm belting it, and it's no, I'm not getting reverb, like shock through my hand, which is kind of decent. This is kind of what I wanted for a knife like this. I kind of... I wanted a knife that I could beat the crap out of and no be scared. It's madness. That is dense as. You can see how wedged in it is there. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. There we go, starting to go now. And look, nothing solid there, man, solid bit of kit. See, it's starting to split right down there. Outstanding, man.
And to be honest, I wouldn't be battening bits of woodlands. I'd be using an axe or I'd break it, I'd cut it down that short. This is just mere for a test. But we picked this because we knew it was solid. Because we were batting some of it up with an axe in that earlier and it was absolutely solid. So we wanted to give it a bit of a test on, on video. To be honest, I would have a wedge in here just now. If I was going to do it, I'd have a wedge in here and I'd bang the wedge in. But I'm going to make the knife do it. You smell the pine off it. It's lovely, man. I know you can't, but I'll can. <laughs> How many you went like that? Put your, put your screen there. There it is. See it hitting through the knots. It's right in the knot there. Nothing. <laughs> Fucking hell. Nothing. Couple of things, maybe the soft ground, but you can see how kind of fibrous. Oh, it smells fucking great and tough that pine is. Absolutely outstanding. Well happy with that. Get the picture, it's absolutely solid, not a single bit, and can it do a bit of feather sticking after? Hands are bloody freezing as well. Absolutely nothing.
see how solid this is, man. Fucking hell, yeah. Still maintained an edge easy. Mom, we're going to chop something now. Let's go. See you in a minute, guys. Yeah, guys, so this is a bit of, uh, this is actually the same tree that it's dead standing that the stuff up there came. So it's, it's kind of seasoned for a bit, it's been dead for a bit, and it's got nice and hard. So I'll go, at, I'll go at this section here with this bad boy. So here we go. can replace a small axe for certain tasks for sure. Very impressive. I'm using that kind of local grip where I've got my pinky in the paracord and I've dropped back so that the blade Meets the angle of the chop before my knuckles. I feel like it's taking a while, but it really is not when you how fucking dense it is. Zero fucking damage. Zero. Nuts. And it's cold as an Eskimo's ball sack. To be honest, it's freezing out here. My hands are Baltic. Good angle there, mate. Right, go for it.
Så er det rart at tage ånd. Nada. All good. Head back to the last side. All good. Seen. That's impressive, isn't it? So basically, the thing that I want to say, see with this, what you're asking for is you're asking a knife to perform an, an axe task on hard pine, which it most certainly did. Most certainly did. With zero edge damage. Zero. Um, it battened through a piece of it that, that length earlier. It feather sticked. The tip strong. It chops like fuck. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Now back to where we were and I'm going to show you at throwing some sparks. Now, am I likely to be feather sticking with this? No, but I can. I quite comfortably can, really. Very comfortably, actually. And I'm doing it a bit of a bag of bastards here, to be fair. But I can quite comfortably feather stick with it if I had to. Um, me, personally, I would have a wee neck knife for doing all my feather sticking. And I'd have this. For doing all the heavy lifting. Um, I suppose the fashionable thing at the minute is one tool option and I get it but personally I'd rather try and have a saw and an axe and maybe a larger belt knife if I need to but I, I'd encourage people to ask themselves what are you actually asking for a knife? Like, what, what are you actually ask, a, a asking? Chuck is a bit of paracord mate like, so after all oh, this battening, the chop test over there, um, I hate cutting cord. <laughs> the edge on it, cheers Al, hey, thank you mate. The, the edge on it is still absolutely outstanding. So let's get to the meat and bones of what I was going to do next. Go again now? Go again. Yeah, with that kind of six and a half fire steel. What's good about it here is I can kind of get this X position with my tinder there and then when I pull that out see I'm not gonna fucking belt my tinder pile and it's gonna go everywhere so I can get I'll need to get kind of work with it but I get this X position here and I pull oh, my fault yeah that's it got it I pull that fire steel through and look at that man I'll do it one more time And it's just raining sparks down on my tinder pile. That, what a great feature. You know, I could just bang it into there, take the angle on it, got it here, tinder pile in here. And that is, that is raining sparks. And it's not burning or damaging that blade in any way. So, yeah, and then obviously the sheath. Excellent. So, the MOD survival knife, heavily modified by Andy at MOD kit on Etsy. We'll try and share the, the link on the, the YouTube channel. Um, but initial thoughts are outstanding. Yes, I will need to use this for a few months to be like truly, truly happy. Um, 
But I don't see I don't see what else I could be asking. Oh, I did need dairy old shaving my arms mainly because I've got fleeces and everything. And my big mate Alec, for easy going out outdoors, shaves the hairs off his arms all the time because he loves knives and he's always reviewing knives. And uh, I don't know how he's got any hair left in his arms. Alec, what's your secret, mate? Because every time you're like, whoa, 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 he's always getting the hairs off his arms. I didn't do that. Um, mainly because I started doing it and I've, I'm quite dark haired. And I started getting, it's only just growing back. See it there? Like I started to get baldy patches in my arms and it was quite noticeable and I looked like I was going, I had a bit of alopecia or whatever now, I can't get my fucking sleeve back done. My hands have went down, I can't get my sleeve down. This is my good hand as well. Um, so yeah, I love this bit of kit. Very, very nice. And I've rounded the handle off, like I said, myself, and it just feels awesome. I may, I may, I don't know, Rocky Road the handle myself. I don't know. But yeah, very happy with uh, Andy from MOD Kit on Etsy's take on the MOD survival knife outstanding and look out in our next video or the, maybe the, the video after that for a sheath air review um, and you can see fantastic right out of the way no damage of that getting cut awesome so yeah as always I've been Stuart he's been Alan you have been awesome this has been an absolute tank. Thanks for watching. If you like what we're doing, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good sound and stuff. Don't just watch the video and disappear into the Ulu. Give us a wee follow, give us a wee like. Um, help us do more videos. Because we're just out here having fun, having a laugh. So yeah, see you in the next one.